Up and over from uh, Gilchrist. Harmison down at third man. It'll just be one. That's beaten Harmison in a way to the boundary. Six from that over tilts the balance towards Australia. That's flashed past Harmison, another boundary. England have got to do something about this. Smashed away through extra cover, that's the shot of the day so far. There it is again, it's gone past second slip, just where David Lloyd wanted a third fielder. Four more. Oh, that's gone straight through the fielder. Three fours in a row. Andrew Strauss there at cover, he should have stopped that. That's away through extra cover again. 16 from four balls. That hasn't worked, has it? Well, that's been his slot this morning through extra cover. Full again. Goff won't be able to cut that off. Boundary to Hayden this time. He moves on to 15. Gilchrist 23. Goff's over the wicket to Matt Hayden. It's gone straight to Giles. A miss hit from Hayden, and at last, England stop the rot. They've dismissed Matthew Hayden for 17. Well, this has gone straight up the air. Peterson under it. Peterson takes the catch. Andrew Flintoff gets his man. England dragging it back. Balling the proper limb. Well, that is a shot and a half. That is not that short. But he's on to that very, very quickly. Australian captain. Yeah! A big shout and he's gone. He gets a wicket with his first ball. Ricky Ponting caught down the leg side. And Jones makes good ground. It's over the top of the slips. So close for Flintoff, so close for Marcus Toscothic. So close for Andrew Simons too, but he's got four. There we are. The hard workers have paid off for Steve Harmison. The radar's back. It's a good delivery, a fine delivery that's uh, taken care now of Damien Martin. Australia in trouble. Oh, is there an edge there? If there's no edge, he's out. And Billy Bowden, the finger of fate. Simon Jones is pumped up. It's a great comeback from him. Clark has gone now, LBW, and it looked plump. It's a lovely stroke. Time beautifully, too full again from Jones. Well, Hussey's uh, really on good form here. 11 from 11. Short, pulled away. Well, I think this over, get this one finished. Yeah! Well, there you go. That's what England wanted. He gives it away. Steps away, tries to hit it over the infield. That's the wicket England wants. Strauss takes it. Collingwood. Ooh, sharp. Big appeal. And he's walked off. It's a brutal delivery, is that? Steve Harmison starting his ninth over. That's a good shot from Hussey. That's the problem when you get down to the last few overs. If there's a batsman still in, he can get up to 200 plus. He's a good player. Hussey moves on to 44. see to that Flintoff menace from Flintoff pace and bounce more than useful well, he's gone again I'm sure he's gone he's worked up he doesn't need Billy Bowden Flintoff cleaning up yep. slow delivery 50 Michael Hussey Second in this series and third in one day internationals for Australia. Shot. 
Well, these are great runs for Australia. Maybe desperate measures, but Hussey has taken charge of this last wicket. That's up in the air. Who wants it? It's called Collingwood. That's the end of the innings. Goff has the last laugh. McGrath tried to get something that wasn't there. Spoon the ball up in the air. Collingwood does the rest. Hussey is left, not out on 62, and Australia are dismissed within 50 overs for 196. A little bit of swing for Lee. Off the pad. And England are underway with two leg buys. Ooh, that's a lethal delivery. And Truscothic has done really well to get out of the way of that. Lee will be spoken to. It was a pure accident, of that I have no doubt. But it's a serious word from David Shepherd to Brett Lee. Edged and gone. Truscothic just uh, dabbing that away or trying to dab it away towards third man. Ponting taking the catch, diving away to his left. It's a shot that Truscothic will not be particularly proud of. Ball in, straight the way through Strauss. He can't believe that he's missed that. It's a full ball. Oh, great shot. Good stride, good contact. Positive stuff from Peterson, as if you'd expect anything else. Ball in, under edge, Vaughan has gone, playing an expansive pull. It's a shot that he tried and used in Australia and dominated McGrath. It's not worked now, and England are in dire straits at 19 for three. It's called for now for the next few overs. There's a thin edge there, there is, Peterson's gone, he's nibbled at that one. Lee has got to his second wicket, and Lee and McGrath are decimating England here. Good timing this time. Despairing uh, dive behind point by Michael Clark, but that's a way to the rope for four. Lovely straight drive this time, that's an even better shot from Flintoff. That'll run away to the pavilion. Successive fours from Andrew Flintoff. Well, it was a great diving effort by uh, Ricky Ponting. Took a fine catch to uh, start England's rock when he picked up Marcus Treskothic. It's gone this time, Hayden at first slip. Flintoff goes hard at the ball. All England batsmen have today. And five of them have perished now. That's a good shot. It's got enough to go uh, up the slope here at Lords and reach the boundary. Well, it's up in the air. There's two men there. I think it's gone for six. Yes, it has. He's not got all of this. It's an anxious look from Garan Jones as he goes on the hook. And it's a great shot as well by Collingwood. A really good shot. Too short, two men out, but he's picked the gap between them. And Collingwood starts this over with a boundary as well. Things just starting to pick up a little for England. In front of Square, the two men in the deep are way behind Square, and that's four all the way down the hill here. Jones has gone for that, it's into the grandstand for six. That'll give uh, Bradley Hogg something to think about as Billy Bowden signals the maximum. And the signal coming from David Shepard. No signal, that's a signal that he needed for his half century. That's gone straight down the ground and in the right direction and long enough. That's a big hit. Catch! 
just over his head. Wasn't that well timed, but he'll get a boundary. Inches, inches away from mid wicket. Oh, yeah. Simple single down to Long On. Oh, there's a mix up yeah! and what a way to break the partnership. Nasser Hussain is currently hanging from the rafters. Well, that's hit hard and that could go to the boundary. It goes to the boundary. Short and wide and punished. Well, that's fantastic. As you say, unusual areas. Nine runs from the over, but that was clever. That's close, that's out. He did go early, it was the full delivery. It's that man hog, he's been fired up all day, he's been looking for a fight all day, he's been looking for a fight with Garant Jones all day, and finally he got his man. Ah! Bowman, full, straight, playing over the top of it. Australia are taking control. Oh, it's over the keeper's head. There's the boundary. Listen to this crowd now. They don't mind where it comes or how it comes. Deep spare cover. Long off, long on, deep mid-wicket. No fine leg. No ball, so that's a big bonus. That is a big bonus for England. Swing and a miss. Well, that I would have thought has got to be very close to being above waist high this time. Not given. He's got some bat on this down and off. Will they get two? They should do. They have got two. He's hit that well. Uh, can he get to the boundary? He's going to get to the boundary. He's going to pick up two. Now the pressure really is on. As cool as you like. Incredible coolness in the end from Glenn McGrath. Shrug of the shoulders from Goff. But he took his time. He relaxed. He took aim. And he hit the stumps. Well done, Glenn McGrath. Take the man on. He does well. First of all, it's a good retrieve, one-handed. Then he steadies and thinks, right, there we go. That'll do. As you say, as cool as a cucumber. All those years of experience from Glenn McGrath. Three from the final ball. is drawn.